What's up, y'all? It's Chris. Just wanted to do a post-fight vid. I know it's a little bit late on last night's epic rematch between Orlando Salido and Juan Manuel Lopez. Um, unfortunately, I had to watch the fight on West Coast delay, so I didn't get finished watching the fight till after midnight. Um, but I sure was glad that I was able to avoid the results. Spoilers, you know, nowadays with uh, social networking, Twitter and everything, it's hard to, you know, you kind of got to avoid all that stuff if you don't want to know the results. And I'm glad that I was able to not find out because it really would have took away from the fight. And a hell of a fight it was, you know. Uh, first, a uh, big up to Salido for agreeing to go to the go to Puerto Rico for the rematch. You know, um, I didn't know if that was the best decision in the first place, just because if it went to a decision, I don't know if uh, he would be able to get a, a favorable results. Um, but yeah, from the get go, this was a hell of a fight. You know, Salido was the aggressive fighter. He looked to be the more confident fighter. Wama looked a little unsure of himself early on. Um, Salido, as in their prior fight, their first bout. Throwing a lot of those wild hope for landing quite a few of them. And um, the commentators mentioned that Lopez didn't seem to be taking the punches quite so well. And he was getting hit quite often, you know. Um, I thought he would look to box more. And he did early on, but still, um, he just didn't look as confident in there. You know, so he didn't look to be in charge the first four rounds or so. First four plus rounds. And then, of course, late in the fifth round, uh, Lopez clipped Salido with the counter hook. And at first, the, the announcers, myself included, thought that he didn't get hit, that he got, um, he just tripped or, you know, got his feet stepped on. But it was pretty obvious that he did get hit because Salido took a while to get up. You know, he barely, he didn't barely beat the count. But, I mean, he was sitting there and I was like, is he hurt that bad that he doesn't know what the count is or what's going on there? But he did get up before the 10. And I will say this, Salido is probably fortunate that that happened, that knocked happened at the end of the round because I do think he was pretty bad hurt, badly hurt. And if the round would have had more time left in it, one man might have been able to get, finish uh, him off. However, as we saw, that was not the case, obviously. And Salido recovered within that minute period and came out in the sixth round and uh, actually looked, didn't look the worst for wear at all. You know, took control of the center of the ring. Although I will say... After that round, Wanma was more in the fight. He started uh, being a lot more competitive. It was a lot less uh, in Salido's favor from the fifth round on, late in the fifth round on. But uh, he still was getting hit with his fair of shots and getting shook, you know, with the fair share of punches as well. Um, then we get to the eighth round, really good round. Um, I think Wanma Lopez was doing a good job of, when he would come forward, he was having more success. Rather than when uh, Salido was. When Wama would be the aggressor, he would be able to land some good solid shots. He was a straighter puncher, but Salido was just throwing a lot more. Eighth round, very competitive round. I was surprised that when Wama was able to put Salido's back in the ropes, that Salido was still able to get the better of it, it seemed like, you know. Um, a lot of times, guys fighting with their backs off the ropes, when these guys are really going at it, the guy who is against the rope is not going to be able to get the better of it. But Salido, I thought, was landing the better shots. And then we get to the ninth round, which was um, just one of the best rounds that I can remember in recent history. Just a great round. Three straight minutes, essentially, of toe-to-toe, -toe, back and forth action. Both guys giving as good as they got. Well, I wouldn't say he's giving as good as they got. I do think that Salido was landing the harder shots. Uh, both guys were landing their fair share of shots to the head and body, but I think the Salido shots were doing more effect, particularly at the very end of the round. Salido landed a couple of really solid shots. And uh, the ninth round essentially was Juan Ma's last stand, his last salvo, as we saw. Tenth round, they come out early on. Salido clips Juan Ma with the right hand, hurt him bad, hit him with the left, right, left. Um, Juan Ma fell straight back, and... Not only did he land hard, but the way that his head and his neck kind of uh, jerked when he landed, it, it was a pretty, it was pretty bad. That, that knockdown was pretty brutal. Um, big credit to Juan Manuel Lopez for getting up. He beat the count. Much respect for that. But he was clearly wobbled. He was clearly hurt and just out on his feet. Um, I, I am completely with the referee in stopping the fight. Um, I do think if the fight would have been allowed to continue, Salido would have finished Juan Manuel Lopez off. Probably in, he probably would have hurt him even worse. You know, there was no need for Juan Manuel Lopez to incur any further damage or punishment at that point in the fight. 
He was all but done. He was out on his feet, and Salido would have finished him off, no doubt in my mind. But just an epic fight. Another great fight to add to the storied history and rivalry between Mexican and Puerto Rican fighters. Um, yeah, just a great, great overall action fight, man. Definitely a, a contender for a fight of the year. And round nine has got to be round of the year thus far by far. It's going to be hard to beat that for round of the year. Um, Post-fight, two things I guess that stood out the most. One, of course, Juan Manuel Lopez's post-fight interview saying that the referee stopped it. The referee had gambling problems. Um, essentially saying that the referee was out to get him. And he stopped the fight for just, I don't know. I'll, I'll say this. Um, as the announcers, you know, uh, Gus Johnson, Antonio Tarver, Alberson noted afterwards, maybe he was concussed. He clearly wasn't, I don't think, 100% coherent. So we'll give him a bit of a pass, and we'll give him a couple days to see, watch the fight again and see what he says afterwards. But at the time, it came off as poor sportsmanship and just being a bad loser. The other thing that stood out, of course, the fact that at the time of the stoppage, Juan Manuel Lopez was remarkably, in my opinion, ahead on the scorecards. One judge had it a draw, the other two had Juan Manuel Lopez um, ahead. So, if not for the knockdown, Juan Manuel Lopez could have possibly won the fight if it had continued at that rate. Um, I was surprised by that. Now, I know a lot of people were saying, um, I first saw on Twitter and Facebook, that, uh, that the commentary team was being very biased for Orlando Salido and the fight wasn't as one sided as they were making it out to be. I don't know if that was the case or not. I do think that Salido was clearly ahead in the fight. I think he was clearly landing the more shots and the more effective shots. Um, so I thought he clearly should have been held on the scorecards before the stoppage. And um, I, I just don't see, you know, um, I didn't make a video prediction for this fight, but I did write an article on my website, scienceofvance.com. And I did pick Salido to win by stoppage. And I said, he needs to win by stoppage because there's no way he'll get a decision in Puerto Rico. And it looks like that might have been the case. Thankfully for Salido um, and his fans, I guess, he took the power out of the judges' hands and finished it off himself. So, great fight. Great round. Um, I don't think there's a need for a third fight. I think that Salido has proven that he has one month's number. Um, styles, I don't know if it's Styles make fights, but he just has his number. And I don't think that Lopez needs to get him with Salido again, you know. He suffered a lot of damage in these first, in these two fights, and... Um, I don't think he'd do so well on a third one as well. And I really um, don't know how much these two fights have taken out of Juan Manuel Lopez. Uh, I'm sure this fight definitely took something out of him because he took a hell of a beating. And he really was, like I said, hurt at the end of that, at the end of the, or in the 10th round when it was stopped. So that said, looking forward to what's next for Salido. I don't really know what it's going to be, but I'm looking forward to see who he does fight next. And also how Juan Manuel Lopez recovers and rebounds from this loss. That's it for now. Um, you know, one of you guys talked in the fight. What'd you think about it? Um, did you, what'd you think about the stoppage, you know? What'd you think about Walmart Lopez's post-fight um, interview? Do you think the commentators were being a little more, a little bit biased towards Salido? And um, how'd you have it scored at the time of the stoppage? You know, before the final knockdown, of course. And just overall general thoughts. That's it for now. Um, I may be talking about this fight on today's Island of France radio show. I usually don't talk too much boxing on there, but I may because it was such a great fight. But, um, uh, I'll definitely be writing about it on the website. So link to the radio show, scienceofvice.com, Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff in the information part of the video, as always. That's it for now. Till next time, guys.